was that time of year again when the sun's out and it's my pink hair does not like the sun look it's just like faded it so much <laughs> hello there's from the nerd tori here how are we i hope you're all doing well so as you can tell by the title of today's video i have got a new winnie the pooh lounge fly um and you might also notice this isn't an unboxing video because it's not in a box before it's not an unboxing but i still wanted to come on here and show you guys the bag and still do like the little review i do when i do unboxings basically it was one of the i think it was one of the march or april releases for loungefly i did see it on like my usual loungefly websites that i usually do pre-orders from i saw it they had a matching purse as well i did love it but for some reason it was one of those things where i love it but then i never buy it do you know what I mean? There's always that thing that you love but you never buy. And then my parents went away for the weekend and they went into a city, went into a shop, saw this bag. They didn't know it was one that I'd already seen and knew that I already wanted. Um, my mum texted me a picture of it going, oh, I just in this bag, would you like it? And I was like, you know what? Destiny, fate, yes. So they picked it up for me, I paid them back and do you want to see it? It is the Gingham Lounge Fly, and I think how perfect a design is this for, I can't remember which month's release it was, it was either March or April, either way, beginning of spring, so everyone will get this bag in for spring and summer. How perfect is that? It's just, oh, Gingham is just such a summer print. It just looks like a perfect picnic bag, you know, to take with you to like the lake or a park. For a picnic it's so cute um and it is classed as a mini backpack it is it's quite i don't know if it's just the illusion because of the pattern but it is quite small it, hence the mini backpack oh my god it is so cute it was 69.99 which standard um standard lounge fly price really so let's go through the details with you so first up Pooh's little face it's all his details of his face his little tongue his eyebrows everything that is all embroidered um very nice detailing and then the little bee just like a little <gasps> it spins <gasps> I just literally learned that. I just noticed that bit. Like I hadn't seen it before. I hadn't noticed it before. Don't know if you can see that. It's like I've got a little button on it. As I was just showing that to you, I just noticed that. It spins. The bee spins. <laughs> I'm too easily pleased. I think you know this. That's so fun. Okay, yeah, so it's got a bee. Because I was just gonna say it's like a plicade on, but it's not. It spins. That's why it's got that little button thing. We've got a little spinning bee. And then how they've designed this bag with the front pouch, I think is so clever because they've got it. So his arms come out round the side and I don't know if you can really tell like from how it is, the arms are kind of separate to the bag. So it's like 3D onto it. So it looks, and obviously with the pouch being his red top um, and obviously it's kind of curved out. It looks like he is just holding his holding his tummy, you know, holding his rumbly tummy, needing some honey. I think that is really clever. And also how, if when you look at the bag, it's not like your standard bag where it's, you know, flat front, flat bottom. It's kind of rounds down. Can you see what I mean? I like that. I, I don't know if that was intentional for them to make it, I'm assuming it is him holding his rumbly tummy because that is quite a poo thing. Um, but I think that is really clever. I just noticed this bee down here. It spins! How have I... I've had, since, before filming this video, I've had this bag for about a week. It's been sat around waiting for me to film this video. Um, and so I've, so I saw the bees, and I've just clocked that they spin. This one down here spins as well. I love that! I love that! I have got bags in my collection that do move, like my Olaf bag. His arms are on those little things like that so you can move it up and down um and i know there are bags where you can like do interact i don't know what the word is but not interact with it but you know what i mean like with olaf you can move his arms and with this you can spin it that's so fun i love that little added detail so you can have the bee flying flying wherever you want him that is so cool i love that 
and then down here we just have the excuse the nail it went missing i don't know where it went who knows but just excuse it um <laughs> you have the little plaque down here so disney lounge fly and i love how they've got it on the red backing but the actual plaque is yellow love that and also it's quite an interesting bit bit to place it because of how they've got this rounded it is kind of like facing downwards i have got some bags where they put the pack on the side some even put it on the back um and some don't bother with it at all i have seen some landfly bags that don't bother with it or maybe they're just dodgy ones i don't know but that is interesting that they have decided to put it on the slope but i do still think that is quite cool so that is the front oh and also we can't skip over it his ears got the little 3d ears then both sides are the same, not too much detail. You've got the little side pocket there. Continuing on with the red gingham for his top. Not too much to say about that. And then on the back. Again, this is something I didn't know was featured on the bag. Because um, I hadn't seen it pictured on the website. And when my parents picked it up for me, they didn't <laughs> look at the back, they just looked at the front. So it's like an added bonus thing. The straps are red gingham to match his top. But if I just hold these up out of the way, she says failing. I think the bees suspect something. <laughs> I love that. It was actually, I only spotted it. When I got the bag, I went to instantly put a picture on Instagram. Um, and when I was just trying to hold it, you know, it's hard to take pictures of lounge flies one-handed. You're trying to hold it with one hand, got your camera in the other hand, it's hard. Um, and I was just trying to twist it, my hand to get it into the right angle um, to have my Winnie the Pooh shelf in the background of the picture. I'm stood like over here, getting all the angles for Instagram. Um, and that's when I noticed that on the back. And that is just so cute. I think the bees suspect something. Also, this isn't usually a feature I comment on in my lounge fly videos, but it's something I really like. I only have, I have two bags with this feature and I love both of them for it. The top handle strap. Hold on, I'm gonna explain. <laughs> um, so it's also like this on my Olaf bag and my floral Loki bag. I'm pointing at it because it's down, down there. Um, the strap is attached on with metal most bags um i don't have an example nearby me to show you other than the loki which is the same the strap is just this straight onto that um <laughs> the strap, i'm so bad at explaining things this straight onto that what even is that tori the strap is straight on to the bag where i was on this bag and those other two bags i have mentioned it has like a little metal a little extra added metal bit and then it's got its thing to secure it down and i don't know i've said it with both of those bags and i'll say it with this one i love that don't ask me why i don't know why but this i just feel like it's more secure i hate carrying bags especially my lounge flies by the top handle because i'm just like ah it's gonna break it's gonna ruin it it's gonna wear and tear um but I feel like with this, it just gives it that extra bit of sturdiness. And the fact with this bag, it works even well because they're obviously doing the yellow and reds um, alternating theme. By having the gold little buckles here and the gold zip with the red. And I just also noticed the zipper is red, but with the gold. What are those bits called? Are they called teeth on a zip? Are they called teeth? I think so. It's the red on gold to match on with the red yellow same with here gold on red i like it i don't know if it's just me looking into these things too much but i like to think that is just an added detail that lounge fly and disney do put into the products um red gold i like it and let's open that up you know what's next the lining this is probably one of the cutest linings i have seen i have seen so this is my, hmm, let me check, third Winnie the Pooh lounge fly? Fourth, fourth, sorry, fourth Winnie the Pooh lounge fly. I have this one, I have my flower crown one, I have my printed one that I got for Christmas, and then I have the pin one where it's his belly is like a pin display. 
So this is my fourth Winnie the Pooh loungefly, and I think this is definitely the cutest loungefly print inside. Might even be the cutest out of all my bags. I'm not too sure. Don't want to jump ahead and say that, but this is adorable. I think I've got enough stuffing out to show you. Can you see that? It's just like various prints of poo. Um, and it's like all black and white except for his red t-shirt and the honey and bee details. And then there's also like down, oh, down here you've got a little piglet, you've got a couple of tiggers jumping on poo. There's, oh, that's so cute. And you've got poo in various different positions. Like you've got him holding his tummy, him just looking cute, him as if, oh my God, I just noticed. I keep noticing things. There's actually two different ones of him and Piglet. So there's this one here where he's holding hands and looking down at Piglet while holding some honey. And then there's one a bit further down there. I don't know if you can quite see it. He's kind of carrying Piglet on his shoulder and carrying a flower in his other hand. That is so sweet. Isn't that, that's so pretty. Zip it up again. Isn't, and so yeah, I had to put on this outfit when I knew I was showing you guys this. I had to put on my outfit. Have, I don't know if I've ever shown you this headband. Look at it. Ah, so cute. Um, so yeah, this is the latest Winnie the Pooh loungefly. Um, I don't know if it's officially called the called Winnie the Pooh gingham, but that's what I was calling it because that's what it is. Um, but as far as I'm aware, it is still available at all your official loungefly retailers. Um, and as I said, there is a matching purse to go with it. But I don't collect landfly purses because I know if I did, that would just get too out of control. I have to limit myself somehow. So yeah, what do you guys think of this? I think it's absolutely perfect for summer because Britain has now finally decided we can have some sunshine. Um, I think this is just going to be perfect for like little picnics, um, little days out. So cute, so summery, so oh, I love it. Especially now I know the bees move. <gasps> easily pleased. I'm easily pleased. What can I say? But yeah, what do you guys think of this bag? Um, yeah, I love it so much. It's so cute. So I think with that, I think we've just about covered everything on it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have got anything from any of the recent Loungefly releases um, or are you eyeing anything up at the moment? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please pop that thumbs up button and if you'd like to see more from what, don't forget to click subscribe down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to ding the notification bell. I mean, you might as well, you're already down there. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.